Hello everyone, my name is Chris and I'm a Solutions Architect on the Amazon Selling Partner API team. In this video, I'll walk you through the required steps to converting your application from a hybrid app to a pure SP API application. Now in order to perform these changes, you'll need to first log in to Developer Central and locate your application. After that, you need to select the Edit App button to open the app registration form. There, you can change the API type to SP API only and click on Submit. Now keep in mind that after clicking Submit, your app now is in draft mode, which means that the changes are made but not published yet. So you'll have to republish your listing for the changes to take effect. Also note that republishing means that the app will go through a review process before actually being published again. It might take around 10 to 15 days for the review to be done, but your hybrid application will remain up and running until the new SP API only version gets published. I also prepared a short demo to have a clear explanation of the converting process. Now on Seller Central, you can go ahead and click on the top left and go to Partner Network and Develop Apps. You are now in Developer Central. Locate your application and click on Edit App. It will take you to the app registration form and under API type, select SP API only. Then scroll down, make sure you select the right rules and then save and exit. Now as you can see, it shows that the app is currently in draft mode. So to republish again, you will need to create listing once again, fill in the required information and submit. Now to ensure a smooth migration, there are a few things to keep in mind. Make sure that you've successfully completed the migration in terms of implementation. This includes verifying that your alls have been migrated and that the authorization API only works on the hybrid app and will no longer work after the app is fully SP API. It's also important to remember that this conversion is irreversible. Once you've converted, there's no turning back. Therefore, it's crucial to take the necessary precautions before proceeding with the migration. Also, your application will remain live and unaffected until the newer version is released. This means that during the review process, users will have access to the previous version of your app. Once the review is complete, your app will be updated and published again as SP API only. You should also know that sellers will have no input and will not be affected by this change. Now, this is all I had for you today. I hope you found this video useful. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more SP API videos and happy coding from all of us at Amazon Selling Partner API team. Thanks for watching.